Hey, Jackie Jean here, and I just wanted to do a quick edit tutorial on how to add a sky to an image. So we've got this image right here. I'm going to pull from one of my skies from my West Coast Sky Collection. So I'm just going to bring that over and drag it on top. The next thing I want to do is edit free transform. So I'm going to make my sky fit my image. All right, so I'm going to make sure to put the sun is right here on this one and the sun is right here on the, on the original image that we're adding it to. So I'm just going to place it right underneath that horizon line and go to my layers and select multiply blend mode. This is a great way to blend it in so you don't get those halos around the trees and around the horizon line as well. So I'm just kind of erasing back, lowering my opacity, and just blending in the horizon line too. There we go. So we've added the sky and I'm going to add just a little bit of blur to it. Make sure it blends in well with the background. If that's too much, I'll do about 5.0 on the Gaussian blur. Actually, maybe even a little less. So we'll do about 4.2 instead. And now we're going to merge the layers together. And let's go ahead and just run a quick preset on it just to finish it off. So I always add the sky before I do a lot of the editing as far as the tones go. So we've got the sky on there. There's we got cedar, maple leaves. I do kind of like that one. We've got redwoods, pine cones, sycamore. All right, we'll do sycamore. Kind of keep with those warmer tones. Click OK. And we've got before and after. Added that sky. Super easy. And just ran the preset on it. And the preset was from Creative Edge Presets. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.